Hey YouTube, this is G by Barnes here. Um, doing to show you guys how to do the Fitech EFI initial setup with the handheld device. I know it can be a little confusing of how to get your information to save, so this is how. Make sure your key's on. Make sure your data comes up on your display here. Go down to your initial setup. Start with engine setup. And we'll start with the cam selection. The ASA cam in this, it could be usually one or two, but we'll change that to a two. You hit this enter button here, it sends to ECU. Then what they don't tell you in the instructions is you actually have to turn the key off. Go back to the screen here. Go back to your dashboard and wait for the values to clear. Once they clear, your saying that you changed is now saved into the computer. So if we turn the key back on, everything comes back up and we'll go to back to initial setup, the engine setup, and then the value that I changed just prior is saved. So I gotta change this back. Send the ECU back. Go up the dashboard. Turn the key off. Wait for everything to clear. Now everything will be saved. You could you do this through all the initial setup, like the Like your cubic inches, your cam, your labor limited, your what you want to idle at warm, what crankshaft you have. In this case, the six liter, it has a 24 reluctor wheel. And you can go down to your idle setup. Here's your idle, what you want to idle at to adapt. In this case, my kit does not have the automatic transmission harness, but it still has the information in here. And you, again, change everything to what you need to have. And that's pretty much how this Go EFI Fight Tech handheld works. So, hope you like my video. Hope it's very informational. And see you later.